I take this opportunity to welcome you back to this other lesson of ours. Now in today's lesson we are going to look at item 6 and 7. Uh, as I told you earlier in the previous video uh, for element of construct for these items, I told you that questions which come on item 6 and item 7, they are normal about human physiology or what we can call human what? Human biology. Now, this item 6 and 7 make up part 2 of section B, whereby you either choose of these two numbers, you do one word, one number. Now, without wasting time, uh, allow me to take you through the item. Now, uh, they are saying, uh, Rita has been smoking cigarettes, eating a lot of fatty meat, and drinking fruits with the high sugar content. So Rita's BMI, that is the body mass index, was found to be higher than normal. Uh, she was advised to monitor her activity for one week. Uh, they are saying that one Sorry, on day one, uh, Rita tried physical exercise, physical exercises. Uh, she experienced heavy breathing, painful muscle cramps, and uh, produced a lot of uh, sweat. And her body became wet. Then from day two to day seven, Rita did not do any physical exercises, but still felt body fatigue. Uh, difficulty in breathing and the chesty pain. Now, before before you read, or before you can proceed to the task, please, after reading this scenario once, go back and read again the scenario. But for the second reading, you have to be reading, but as well as what underlining the key or uh, the major words. They have used in the what in the scenario as you can see they are saying rita has been smoking cigarette so when you look at that statement there is no any important keyword so from there we go that uh, uh, rita has been smoking cigarettes eating a lot of fatty meat uh -huh. so you underline eating a lot of fat what fatty meat Smoking cigarettes, eating a lot of fatty meat, and drinking fruits. Drinking fruits with the high uh, sugar content. So Rita's BMI, that is the body mass index, was found to be higher than normal. You see, was higher than normal. So she was advised, uh, she was advised, uh, to monitor her activity for one what? For one week. So he went ahead and they told us that that the after actually on day one, we are here on day one, Rita tried physical exercises. Uh, she, she experienced heavy breathing, we underline heavy breathing, uh, painful muscle cramps. And produced a lot of what? Sweat. And her body became wet. And all those changes happened on day one. Then from day two to day seven, Rita did not do any physical exercise. But still felt body fatigue. You get it. Felt body fatigue. Difficulty in breathing and chesty pain. Now, after underlining and understanding what the scenario is talking about, then you can now go to the what? To the task. But before you go to the task, you should know that all the answers you need for, for you to be able to pass or to maximize all the marks for this what? This question. They have hidden them in the what? In the scenario. So, as you are reading, please get a pencil. Be underlining the important key statements in the what? In the scenario. Then, for you to maximize scores in this item, you also need to do what? 
you need to to explain every point you identify you explain you get uh -huh. so let's go to our let's go to our task uh -huh. now they are telling us now they are telling us explain reader's experience uh, day one now experience experience on day one remember on day one they told you that uh, that Rita actually Rita tried the physical exercise on day one she experienced the heavy breathing now you ask yourself what happened on day one or oh, what has caused Rita to experience heavy breathing now those are the answers we need here because they are saying explain Rita's experience on day one they told you Rita experienced the heavy breathing and remember we underlined it. Now what caused Rita to experience heavy breathing? Uh -huh. So we are looking at now reduced reduced amount of oxygen intake uh, resulted into difficulty in breathing due to too much carbon dioxide in the what in the body. Or you can say that what caused the heavy breathing is uh, increased amount of carbon dioxide or accumulation of carbon dioxide in the what in the muscles resulted into heavy breathing that is enough you have explained now from there remember they told us that Rita also experienced painful muscle cramps now you ask yourself what causes painful muscle cramps? Remember, we've been underlining the keywords. Uh, so, what causes painful muscle cramps is the accumulation of lactic acid into the muscles. So, it is that lactic acid which causes uh, painful muscle cramps, or what we can call muscle what? muscle pull. Then, from there, uh, they told you that. Uh, that he, Rita also experienced muscle heart. And then there is a lung infection, which causes chest pain as a result of what? Smoking. Uh -huh. Then from there, we can proceed. Now they told you, as you can see there, uh, they told you that Rita also experienced, uh, actually they said, and produced a lot of sweat and her body became wet. Now, the rate of respiration increased during the exercise, resulting into production of heat and water, making the body to sweat, become wet and warm. So it is due to increase of respiration. It's the one which has caused the, uh, the reader's body to become wet and what? To produce a lot of what? Sweat. Uh -huh. Then from there, now let's look at day two. What happened in day two? Which experiences did the reader go through in day what? Day two. Because we say that from day two to day seven, Rita did not do any physical exercise. Rita did not do any physical exercise, but still felt uh, body fatigue, difficulty in breathing, and he, chest pain so you are going to base on those keywords you have underlined in the scenario now to attempt this so they have talked about uh, they have talked about uh, we say that uh, Rita experienced or felt body fatigue difficult in what in the breathing and chest pain now we are saying that prolonged road sorry prolonged difficulty in breathing resulted from reduced blood flow to the what to the heart which made the chest tightened hence uh, shorten of breath because blood vessel supply uh, blood sorry because blood vessels supply heart and other parts has been blocked by by the fat remember in the scenario they told you somewhere that uh, this Rita was eating a lot of um, uh, a lot of fatty, fatty meat and 
uh, the BMI or what we can call the body mass index was found higher than the normal. Then two, we can talk about smoking because they told in the scenario that Rita was smoking. So we say we are saying smoking and poor diet resulted into uh, blockage of the coronary vessels, thus leading to chest one, chest pain. Remember that Rita was eating fatty meat and he was taking fruits which contain high what high sugar levels. Now this resulted into blockage of this the the, the small coronary what vessels, thus leading to chest what chest pain. Then, lastly, they are saying we can talk about eating fat. Eating fatty food resulted into high blood pressure, making the heart to pump blood at a high pressure, resulting into fatigue. Uh, so, by doing that, we have talked about the experiences. The question wanted. Now, let's look at part B. Uh, now, when we look at part B, they are saying apart from going to see a medical doctor. Or medical worker, how uh, how can you advise Rita to manage what she experienced from the two to the seven? Uh, this is very, actually this is the simplest area. So Rita should do, continue doing regular physical what <laughs> physical exercises. Uh, another point is that Rita should stop. Smoking of cigarettes, uh, Rita should do feed on a balanced diet to reduce risks of diseases and obesity. So, Rita should also stop or reduce uh, intake of food rich in fats and a lot of sugars. So, I call upon you to subscribe, please. Uh, if you have a question, if you have a topic you want me to break down for you to simplify for you, please. Put that topic in the comment section. I'll be waiting for it.